What's up, y'all? It's Ang Lizzie and it's Bobson TV. And the day I made the news about while they getting hung off the balcony by his shoes. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. I'm on the way to 100K subscribers. It's Bobson Records with dreams come true. So usually where I come from, y'all, you make the news for death or bad stuff, like robberies. You don't make the news for nothing good. Today, I made the news for something good. I was on the radio stations, Good Morning America. I was all over the blogs. I was on web, uh, DJ Academics, No Jump, Shade Room, Neighborhood, just everywhere. I was loving every minute of it, y'all. But y'all think I told that story? I told that story to more so put my input on the Cassie and Diddy thing. I didn't know the Wale part of the balcony was gonna be the interesting part of the story. Niggas get hung on the balcony every day, B. So, I made the news. All right, guys, let's talk about Diddy and Cassie now. We've been reporting on this for a couple days as well. So it all started last week. Cassie made major headlines after the R&B singer filed a lawsuit accusing the music mogul of rape, physical abuse, and sex trafficking during their relationship. In her complaint, Cassie also mentioned that Diddy held rapper Wale, DMV's own Wale, over a balcony, Suge Knight style. So that was the rumor. That was the report that came out. We know they eventually settled that lawsuit. Now Wale is speaking out, though, and this comes after rapper turned YouTuber Aunt Glizzy claimed to have witnessed that incident. However, Wale's team is denying the incident ever took place. He even stated he's never even met Cassie and that the media is spreading fake news for clicks. Guys, what do you make of this what? one? Did y'all oh, did y'all hear about this or do you well, even believe it? Here's the thing. I remember when Cassie and Diddy were hanging out when she was of the very earlier stages in her life. Yeah. Oh. And they seem to be like really in it. So now all of these accusations and potential legal mm -hmm. things that can take place. I mean, we've got to tiptoe with what we say because yeah. Listen, yeah. Diddy is an icon, but these accusations were real and mm -hmm. that lawsuit got settled fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like when you're when you're iconic, when you're a star, if something comes out, they're going to keep on just poking at you and trying mm -hmm. to pull out other things. And I, I think everyone's just talking. Mm -hmm. Some of it may be true, but yeah. a lot of it's probably just, you know, here is conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And if Wally's team is saying it didn't happen, well, there you go, straight from the horse's mouth. So that's what they want us to, to go with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, if you got Glizzy, Glizzy also a, a very famous uh, rapper, uh, to say that he saw this and witnessed this, of course Wally's going to say, no, it didn't happen. Because... Yeah. For you, I mean, as a man, knowing that another man hung you over a balcony and it gets to the media, that can be. That's the first thing I really thought damning. of. I, I think also coming on the heels of in those uh, in that lawsuit, Cassie mentioning Kid Cudi's car was blown right, up, right, and right. Kid Cudi's people confirming it. On the heels of that, people were more likely to believe these stories about Wale. And I, I'm with you. I don't <laughs> think it benefits him. Yeah. Not at all. He might not think it benefits him if he says it's true. So, yeah. uh, I, I will say I suspect more stories are going to come out about about Diddy because I know a lot of people have been saying, you know, long time coming for these things to come out, whether they're true or not, yeah. or for these things to come out. Grandma called me like, yeah, Anthony, I seen it, said your name on the news. I said, Grandma, they said my name on the news. Now I'm thinking about all this I'm just running through my brain like, they said my name on the news for like, why? And she's talking about some, yeah, I see you over there talking on that YouTube. I said, oh man, what I done did, Grandma. She said, but the Lord has been blessing you. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Keep it up. She said, well, Wale really hanging off that balcony? I said, damn, my grandma be one of those while they was hanging off that balcony. Yeah, I know I told the truth. I wasn't lie to grandma. I said, grandma, on the deacon at the church, I seen his socks. You hear me? I seen his socks. Now tell the pastor, now tell Pastor Jody Maple to pray for little Wale. Pray for them socks and see them in the air that'll never happen again. She goes, she said she gonna put a prayer for Wale that uh, they they rebuke them balconies from in his life again. So I'm just celebrating. I've been posting it. It's all over the Instagram. Y'all see it? I'm like, dang, I made the news. I ain't know how powerful my voice was now. I know. So this for like all my non-believers, you can really do whatever you want to do. You can like just put your mind to it. I started with nothing. I started with forty dollars, one pair of jeans, and a couch. I got a whole lot of everything. I'm, thank you, though. I'm truly blessed. And I be thinking to myself, like, Wale, Fetro, and Shaq Glizzy, I know they got a text message, like a group text, like, we got to get Disney. Shaq, like, we got to pay somebody to get him. Fetro, like, I'm going to get him myself. 
Wale like, I know some Nigerians. <laughs> we take him back to my country, and I took, we take him back to my country, the father, lad, we treat him like his father, we tell the doctor to let him die. <laughs> he said, we just take him back to Nigeria, give him to the doctor, and tell the doctor to just to let him die. <laughs> I get my shooter from Nigeria to shoot him four times, give him to the doctor, and let him die. <laughs> Shout out like, oh, that, that idea sound fire. They told me, where we gonna leave the body? Fat Trail told me, Bitty Road. Hey, <laughs> nah, though, if y'all was y'all no good, I'd be saying to myself, like, why did they do me like that? Like, why y'all try to box me out the picture? Y'all try to box me out, but like, ain't no boxing me out now. Every day y'all wake up, I'm gonna get on y'all nerves. And I'm not ashamed to say it though. Like, I don't got no filter. I'm a 100% shy glizzy hater. I don't got hate on Wale. Like, he ain't even from here. In fact, Trail smoke cigarettes and drink lean. Like, just imagine him representing DC. How you represent DC? That man's a cup of lean and a cigarette. That ain't no DC's. Take him back to the room. But yeah. Back to what I was saying. I was on the news. Y'all can't hate on me, Trail. I just told you to do the interview, bro. All I wanted was an interview, bro. All you had to do was do the interview. Trail would have did the interview and never started. Trail, instead of him doing the interview, guess what he do? He go do an interview with a nigga from Atlanta, Georgia, get 200 views on the interview. He could have got 50,000 to 100,000 views in one day. He go get 50 views and then he diss me with the 50 views and say, yeah, because anybody playing with Wale, they got to see me about that. And another thing, he ain't going like this, that, and that. I said to myself, oh, I'm about to put the press on Trail. I swear to God, Trail wish he never said that. If Trail wish he never did nothing in life. It's he, him doing that interview saying that Wale he ain't need. Wale ain't need take up for him. Wale ain't hopping in like, yeah, Trail, we going to get him. Wale been quiet. I seen Wale. A picture of Wale inside man sent me that joint. He was in Bus Boys and Ports. He ain't need get no sauce on this salmon no more. It's different. He don't even want no flavor in them up. He just in there eating dry salmon. He don't got his spunk no more. I took his swag. When you come to the DMV, and it's another thing about me. They had a rap list back in the day, 200 rappers. Aunt Glizzy wasn't on there at all. Everybody was clowning. Aunt Glizzy ain't make the list. Ha, ha, ha. It was all fun and games. Just see how time changed. I'm just here to tell you. If DC had a Mount Rushmore and I ain't on it, why would I not be on it? I'm bigger than Fat Trail. I did more for the city than Fat Trail. I'm bigger than Shaq Glizzy. I did more for the city than Shaq Glizzy. I'm just here to tell you, that don't even sound right, though. Bigger than Shaq Glizzy. I did more. Yeah, more people know me than Shaq Glizzy. If you think I'm lying, Shaq Glizzy had never in his life did 500,000 views on an interview in his life. I did that in five days. God damn. And he been at 1.2 million followers since 2012. If I'd have still had my first Instagram, I'd have had more than 1.2 million followers. But we ain't in no competition. Let's get back to it. I be counting up them blues. See me on the news, man. I was on the news. And I be counting up them blues. But what I'm here to tell y'all is, though, and they said, what they said, retired rapper or old, or old some rapper turned, they said, oh, uh, ex-rapper turned YouTuber. I said, I like that title. They call me ex rapper turning YouTuber. Like, even the news know I'm a YouTuber. Like, I changed my life. Like, the world seen it. I'm getting my flowers. I appreciate it, though, y'all. My mother called me, said, man, you was on the news. I'm proud of you. My mother was proud of me. I'm like, dang, you proud of me, too? Okay, I'm doing something. We moving around. I'm going to show y'all the clip, though, y'all. Got to listen to him. It was the person who said it for me, though. Like, he said, Aunt Glizzy, perfect, loud and clear. Shout out to Fox 5, man. Not, not, I'm talking about the, the news, because y'all mad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Because <laughs> this city gets crazy. Shout out to Channel Fox 5 News, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here to tell you, man. But, yeah, though, I'm going to get some shout outs, man. Shout out to the whole DMV, man. I ain't going to even solidify, solidify nobody, just one person. I'm going to give a shout out to my whole city, man. I want to thank my whole city. Everybody said I wasn't going to be nothing. I proved y'all wrong. Everybody thought I wasn't going to make it look at me now. Everybody that was with me and supported me, y'all, just keep on supporting me, y'all. This is the thing about it, though. Y'all think I need support and subscribers. I swear to God, I need prayer more than anything. My mental. As long as my mental 100, I'm going to be 100. So if y'all can do anything for me, make sure y'all pray. Then y'all can like and subscribe because I pray for y'all if y'all need me to pray for y'all. I ain't that bad of a person. We just on YouTube time. I told you I just counted the blues and I made the news. You know what I'm saying? Last time that boy made the news, he was on a run and he had a gun. Last time I was on the news, the news was telling Wale that I was the one. Baba son. <laughs>